The hype preceding the introduction of this new Malibu is almost limitless. For a year now, we've been hearing breathless blogger reports from secret previews and all sorts of little GM events telling us the car would be BMW-esque, that it would be like nothing we've ever seen before. Well, it is like nothing you've ever seen before if you've never seen the current Malibu. If you have seen the current Malibu, it's very much like something you've seen before. With that said, what are the changes? Here are the big ones. We've got a new styling package. We've got a raised dome hood. Probably pedestrian impact has something to do with that. Not that you know anybody's gonna be starstruck by this thing long enough to get hit by it on the street. In the back, we've got Camaro style double tail lamps. Now, it would be really neat, and you can write to your friends about this, if we could get triple tail lamps for the Impala. That'd be classic Chevrolet. That's the way they used to do it. Two tail lamps for the entry level car, three tail lamps for the nice one. That'd be really neat. I wouldn't look for it. We have the Eco, which is also known as E-Assist. Basically, it's a stop-start mild hybrid. It debuted in the Saturn View a long time ago. When the car comes to a halt, the engine turns off. Think of it as a very strong starter motor or something similar to Honda's IMA, Integrated Motor Assist. So, if you're looking for a revolutionary Malibu, you're not going to get it. And here's the worst part. GM showing this to us now, the dealers won't have it for a year. That means for a year, the dealers are going to have to try to sell the old Malibu to somebody.